I'm Tom Lando. I am the district manager of the Paradise Irrigation District. And it gets a little confusing. Uh, I know when I heard the term irrigation district, we talk about farmers. Uh, actually, it's just another name for a water district that provides water to the residents of the town of Paradise. It's governed by a board of directors that are independently elected by the residents of Paradise. And their job is to serve those residents and make sure they have water now and into the future. How many people do we provide services for now compared to pre-campfire in November 2018? The district's going through an evolution. So pre-campfire, there were 10,500 connections approximately. Immediately post-campfire, that was probably 1,500. Now we're up to 3,900 and continuing to grow. At the current rate of growth, in two to three years, we'll have five to 6,000 connections which will make the district self-sustainable. At the present time, we're not, which is why we went to the assembly, we being the district, I wasn't here then, but the board and the general manager went and talked with Assemblyman Gallagher, who was able to secure two years worth of state grant money in the amount of about 7.4 million per year to keep the district afloat uh, until the options for financial stability could fully be analyzed. Were there any conditions for that money? Do we have to pay it back? The money actually is a grant, so it does not have to be paid back, but there were several conditions, and that is first that a study of options to provide water to the town of Paradise be studied, and that the Paradise Irrigation District participate in that study. And the second was that an examination be made of an intertie between the Paradise Irrigation District and the Valley Floor to provide water to California Water Service Company. So can you explain that process, this option study? I can. The state contracted with uh, Sacramento State to actually perform the study. They in turn hired an engineering for firm called GEI at this point, that firm has come out, just come out last week, with uh, the various options to be analyzed. Uh, there are actually some 23 different options they will study the feasibility of. And just to assure people, not one of those options has to do with consolidation with California Water Service Company. The options range from uh, a settlement with the Pacific Gas and Electric to possible uh, consolidation with either the town or South Feather or revenue from things like the inner tie or simply the growth rate we're undergoing now that would allow us in three to five years to be self-sustaining and the grant money we receive from the state is enough to sustain us until that time period. No, the board, the board has been fairly uh, clear and consistent. They want to see what the option study concludes. What are the various options? What are the cost benefits of each? What is the, what's the value of each? Before they make any type of determination. And clearly, uh, contrary perhaps to rumors, there's absolutely no discussion of immediately jumping into an inner tie with the uh, Valley floor. Again, the board, not sure they want to do that. They, the, the board is concerned with the residents of Paradise and they want to make sure not only is there water now for the residents, but into the future. As one board member expressed, into my children's future, into my grandchildren's future, and into their grandchildren's future, they want to make sure there's water for the residents of the, of the town of Paradise. There are repeated opportunities for, for the community to participate in the option study. Right now, tentatively, we have uh, another meeting set up. There's already been several uh, on October 6th. The details aren't, I'm not aware of the details at the present time, but we love community participation. We will get information about how, about how to participate. Uh, again, the board of directors wants to know what the community thinks. They want to follow the community's lead in this effort. Why is it so important for Paradise to be so concerned about its water right now? 
there are a whole series of reasons why uh, the community and the board are concerned about water. First of all, obviously, we're in the middle of a drought. And so we want to make sure, the board wants to make sure that there's water for the, the community itself. Um, and then the board wants to be a good neighbor to the extent it's able to be a good neighbor and ensure the residents of the county have the water they need. Uh, but again, uh, their job is, first of all, to look at the Paradise Irrigation District boundaries, basically the town of Paradise, and make sure they have water. Do you think that people's fears right now, the rumors that are out there right now, are, what would you say to the rumors that we're gonna blend with the town of Paradise or that we're gonna be taken over by Cal Water or the state will take us over? Are those, is there any truth to any of those rumors? The basic fact direction is we need to provide water to the town residents, however that occurs. I would say unequivocally that the board of directors and the community members that have participated so far have said we want Paradise Irrigation District to remain independent. We like as an independent board, we get to elect the board members, we get to help direct what they do. Um, and we're headed in the direction of financial feasibility, but the point is water has to be provided to the residents of the town. That's the primary directive of the board, of the community, and that's where we're headed. Can you address for a few minutes the gains that have been made since the campfire and how Paradise Irrigation District is contributing to the recovery of our community through restoration of our water? Certainly. Uh, after the fire, uh, the water lines were badly damaged. There were a series of leaks throughout the community uh, in cooperation with our partners, whether that be the state, FEMA, the town. We are working hard and have been working hard for the last several years to restore the water system and have already restored the quality of water. Um, we want to make sure and are making sure in terms of uh, really unprecedented regrowth in the town that the district is viable. So <clears throat> when the campfire occurred, there were concerns that paradise is done. Um, and I have to admit that I, I thought it was going to be a very hard time to get the rebuild going. The fact is that the rebuild of the town is occurring at an unprecedented rate. And as I mentioned previously, in three to five years, there'd be enough connection so that the irrigation district would be self-sustainable. That means the revenue we get from connections would equal our expenditures. We have had great assistance again from FEMA in the reconstruction of the system. And that doesn't even talk about the settlement claim that the district, just like every resident in the district, has made against a settlement fund, which has approximately $13 billion. We believe that even getting a small percentage of that will <clears throat> make sure the district's sustainable well into the future. The district has been working uh, and is in the process, actually, of re-engineering the Megillia Dam. The Megillia Dam, for those who don't know, had some seismic issues, and therefore its water storage was probably about a third of what it's actually capable of storing. Right now, we are doing the engineering to make that dam uh, seismically safe, basically, and therefore the water storage would literally be tripled, and there'd be no water issues forever. That's a broad statement, but forever uh, in, the, in the town of Paradise. How does the district see its stewardship of this resource for our community? The board feels very strongly that the community needs to direct its future, that there should not be a third party directing the future, uh, that, uh, for example, when this option study is done, it is a study. It is not a requirement. There will be certain things that are analyzed, but it's actually up to the board and the community what direction is pursued into the future. And I can tell you, the board itself wants to hear what the residents have to say. No conclusions have been made about what, if any, option uh, the board would pursue, except, again, the board feels that the district is viable, will be viable in the future, and they'd like to remain independent as a water district providing water to the residents of the town of Paradise.
Did you have anything else you wanted to say to us today, Tom? The board is very interested in hearing from the residents. I would tell you that if anybody hears rumors or anybody just wants information, call PID, call the Paradise Irrigation District, and we would be happy to sit down with anybody individually in our group and simply go through the discussion. Uh, very open to ideas, very open to ways to continue to make the district financially viable and also meet the needs of the customers. We are happy to sit down with anybody and further discuss it and resolve any issues and again explain why and how the district intends to remain independent and move into the future.